Chairman Bhushan, uh, Ranking Member Lipinski, and other members for being here and listening to my testimony. Uh, my name is Vishnu Rajakonda. I uh, attend Eleanor Roosevelt High School. I'm in the 12th grade. Um, actually, we have a significant number of students from Ms. De Ms. Edwards' district herself. So, um, and uh, my experience with uh, FIRST is that I started with FLL in the 7th grade, just like Brian. And I've spent four years in FRC now. And I just have to say, um, my fellow students touched a lot, um, very well, on the educational aspects and values of FIRST. And I'd just like to talk a little bit about my personal story. I think with FRC, especially in uh, FIRST in general, I describe it in three ways, spirited, challenging, and fun. I'm a basketball fan, I'm a football fan, I'm a tennis fan, so I love you know, hearing everyone talk about uh, basketball here and seeing Chris Bosch on the screen. But for me, uh, FRC has been so spirited, so different from every other educational activity I've been to. There's a subculture behind it. There's, you know, Dean Kamen, Mr. Kamen, he's my James Naismith. Woody Flowers, the guy who comes up with the, um, the challenges behind it, all the mentors who do it, they're my LeBron, they're my Kobe. They are the people who are my role models with respect to engineering. And I think that's very unique to FIRST and in general to these kind of STEM activities. So, and challenging. I think that first, the challenges that is put before me have pushed me to engage these fields, these STEM fields, differently and more thoroughly than anything I've ever done in class. I took AP Physics B, I took AP Physics C, I've done all these AP classes, and I've gotten the grades. But being in first, I can't say I'm the best engineer in my club, because I'm not. I've gotten higher grades than the best engineer, but Kyle beats me <laughs> at being an engineer. So, I think that in challenging me, it's been very unique and more different, and I think that's very valuable. And finally, it's been fun. I think we've all alluded to how being fun is, is critical in engaging students in STEM and whatever, and STEM in these fields. And um, FRC has certainly done that, and FIRST programs have certainly done that. I think importantly, um, the, the fact that we get to interact with these professional mentors has made a huge difference in my own, in my own life. You know, I, I work with Mr. Healy, who's here. Uh, you know, with, with me today, and I think that these people have become role models, you know, in, in, in pursuing an engineering career and in also giving back to the community. I think that FRC has, has made a personal change on me on that level. Um, I'd just like to tell a short story about how um, I've, I've come to f appreciate first more. Uh, recently, I went to Japan on a trip to present some original research, uh, which I hope to come back to, uh, but original research. And at that conference for high school students, uh, it was, you know, there's something called World Premier Research Institutes in Japan. They're modeled off American universities and how we have phenomenal research institutions. They're doing the same thing in Japan to try and replicate what we do. And when I was there, they were asking me, what do you guys do in school? What do you guys, what do you, guys you know, what is it that you do that allows you to do such good research? Because we were presenting unique research that Japanese high school students there were not capable of doing, not for lack of intelligence, but for lack of facilities, for lack of support. And when I told them about FIRST, about what we did, about how we manage a $25,000 budget, how students build these 120-pound robots, they were absolutely fab flabbergasted. I mean, these were top scientists, but they were saying, kids can do that? Are kids smart enough to do that? What? But the point was that it allowed me to appreciate FIRST and, and, and the programs that that these, you know, these unique private sector STEM programs are, are engaging in, you know, code.org. All of our students on our, pro, on our uh, FRC team, they learn coding through Code Academy, through code.org, all these websites. And it's really opening up new avenues for us. Um, so, you know, I guess hopefully three um, aspect, three things that I guess maybe this discussion would include would be teacher support, which I think Mr. Kamen was talking about extensively. I think it's very difficult in my school to get people, to get teachers to support programs. I had to, Science Bowl, uh, you mentioned that. I, need, I needed to find a new sponsor for my Science Bowl team this year because my old teacher said she couldn't do it this year. And it was hard. I mean, because teachers just said, I have so much work. I have so much work in terms of testing or whatever it is that they weren't able to be, you know, sponsors or whatever. So hopefully, you know, some way uh, teachers can be, you know, more focused on uh, or, or, or allowed to sponsor these kind of private sector STEM programs like FIRST because it all starts with the school. You know, if you don't have that school support, no team can survive. Um, you know, internships and stuff like that, I think real world experience, practical STEM experience like FRC, like internships are critical. And I think that, you know, uh, up here, uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Jonah was talking about GPA and stuff like that. I think it comes back to college admissions. I think that's an important uh, aspect to this STEM, um, STEM uh, engagement for students. And um, yeah, I just, on a personal note, I plan to, because of first, major in biomedical or electrical engineering when I get to college. Um, I don't know where yet, but hopefully I'll learn by the end of March. Thank you.